Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a quick weave, kind of like a V-part wig with an old damaged wig. So here I'm just cutting through the middle, but I'm trying to make sure that my part is perfect so that I'm not cutting off any like unneeded hair, you know, getting my money's worth. But you're gonna, gonna you're gonna cut straight through the middle, like the middle part. You're gonna cut straight through the middle of that, all the way to the end of the lace front or frontal if you want. But here I'm using a lace front. I think maybe it's 13 by four. Yeah, yeah definitely 13 by four because it was short around the edges, and I just had a real I had a lot of um hair that was not there, like it was just gone. It was a really damaged wig, but here. I just put it over my hair as you see like you just split it over your leave out you're gonna have a section leave out in the front I'm just braiding it down I thought it was just to get out the way but I thought it was gonna be maintainable at the end but it wasn't you'll see but that's the um edges those are the parts that you're also gonna leave out so that it looks more natural next you're gonna sew down the hair onto your braids after that, you're going to want to cut unnecessary parts of the wig so that your edges part is able to show. After that, as you can see, the style that I had, it didn't work. It kind of poofed up. So I got my wand curler and I just started parting my leave out. And some of it you're going to want to add in the hair from the, weave, the wig or weave or whatever you're going to use if you're using like any other type of hair you just want to see how to blend it this also works for that you're gonna get you could even use one a one curler smaller than this one and you're gonna grab it with the hair not for this one but you can do that part separately like you know just use the natural hair part but for my next part i think it's the next section i'm gonna do you're gonna grab a piece of the weave and you're gonna curl it with your hair so that it stays together and it looks more natural and it just it blends way better but that's how I do it. I just hold it on there for like 15 seconds, sometimes maybe 20, until the hair that's wrapped around it, it's hot. As you can see, I felt to see how hot it was. Be careful while doing that. I'm not liable for nothing y'all do, okay? Um, I thought that was going to be a sh longer, a sped up version of what I was doing, but it ended up being real quick. Um, I'm still new with this, still getting the hang of it. And yeah you hear that that's my dog moving in the background um so you're just gonna keep doing small parts and the more the smaller the parts that you use and you curl the better it will look in the end and the more natural it'll look it'll also look fuller so you're just gonna use part by part basically and you see there i'm grabbing a piece of the wig i'm gonna comb it out brush it out whatever you need to do but be careful because you don't want to like pull your hair because it's sewn down you don't want to pull out anything or cause any balding so just be very careful also used um she um heat protectant before i did any of this because we do not want to have heat damage it's not cute but you're gonna as I said several times, you're going to grab a piece of the wig and your hair, and you're going to curl it together, just as I'm doing right there. Hold it on there until the hair gets hot, or about 15 seconds, and then you're done.
So as you get to the front, like how I am, you want to kind of get as close to the root as possible. Because, you know, I don't know everybody's texture, but it's African-American girls. You know, you know, if you know. So you really just want to try to get as close as you can to the root so that it's not frizzy or frizz up easily. But don't burn yourself. That's when I'm done. After that, you're going to want to separate the curls. Because that does not look that good. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look that good. So just gently. You probably want to spray with hairspray first. Mine was in the car. didn't feel like getting it. But you want to separate your curls. And it's, you can kind of even tuck them into the hair as I'm doing so that it looks like it's coming from your hair it's more natural not frizzy it just blends in way better when you just kind of tuck it you can even twist it under the hair a little bit if you want I'm separating the back as well because the back of your hair it matters it definitely matters 